So, you came to this video to see what it's like to drive a scat pack daily, huh? Alright, bet. I got you. Stay and watch the whole video. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about driving a scat pack daily. It's your boy Tay. YouTube! It's your boy Tay and I'm back with another video, man. As y'all can see in the title, y'all know what the theme is of this video. We're going to go over the pros and cons of driving a scat daily. Um, not gonna waste too much time. We're gonna just try to get into the video and get right to it. You know, hey, before anything, like, comment, and subscribe on the video, man. I appreciate you. And you know, I love you, man. Mopai gang. But anyway, back to the point at hand. So you wanna know if it's, hold on, let me get y'all right. Uh, hold on, this bright as hell in here. All right, anyway. So you want to know if it's worth it to get a scat or anything, but a scat because that's what I got. A scat and a daily drive it. All right. You want to start with uh, pros or cons, which I want to start with. I oh, know I kind of want to start with the um. Let's start with the pros. Honestly, uh, we go with the pros. So first hand driving a scat daily. Obvious, you're gonna be one of the fastest cars on the road. Yes, yes, I know there's other cars way faster, Hellcats and then Forns and all this. But as a whole, like your normal, like everybody, like average person on the road, you're going to be one of the fastest cars on the road. So weaving, I mean, lane switching in and out of traffic, you know, get getting where you need to go, like at any type of time, like you can be there in a hurry type of Like it's a great car. Like you feel me? So I feel like that's one pro, just being the fastest on the road at any given time. Uh, second pro, I would say it's a head turner. Like I think any car really dies is like a head turner. It don't matter from a V6 to a Hellcat to a Demon, whatever. Like it's a head turner. Like you're gonna get people like, dang, that's your car. Like you're gonna get a lot of compliments. Basically, what I'm saying. So that's a that's a good thing to me. Honestly, that's a pro to me. I mean, how would you feel like every day you're gonna get a compliment? compliment on your car like that's just gonna boost your confidence every day like you gonna love driving your car so I mean like like what like bro it's yeah you feel me so I feel like that's another one um pros to car uh being fast getting compliments on it I don't know and then you just get I don't know it's like I feel like it's like bragging rights like I you got a scat like it's like people not having scats, bro. People not having these type of cars. So I feel like that's a bra it's bragging rights. Give you some little bragging rights if you're about that. I'm really not into bragging and stuff. You feel me? But like, if you into that, they give you bragging rights over your homeboys or anybody else that's trying to talk talk about you or whatever. So you know that uh, pros. I feel like this a pro. You also with the compliments, you're gonna get a lot of hate. A lot of hate, but I feel like just as a pro, I feel like that's a pro just because you're doing something right. Like people only hate because they see something they don't got and they want, or you know that you're that you're doing good and they don't they don't like that you succeeding. So and you having that. So I feel like hate is gonna come with this car or any type of Mopar. Hate is gonna come with it. So I mean, if you ready to handle all that and stuff, then it's cool. Go ahead, do that. Um, another pro, you can start you a car channel. As y'all can see, like my car channel, like I was doing a couple videos on my other charges that I had, but since I got this car, like my, you know, my channel, like, like took off a little bit. So I mean, having a scat, like honestly, bro, is it's like a game changer for real. Especially if you make the right content. Like I'm still working on the content and everything but everything's going in the right direction so i'm happy i'm happy i'm not satisfied but i'm happy and we're gonna keep on working towards that but definitely you can make your car channel you can monetize your car bro like get what you need to get on youtube get all the things up and then you can go from there then having this scat or starting out with a scat or whatever car you got like bro you can monetize it start making money off of it, and go up off a of car channel like that's all i did man Cause I mean I got the car, so why not make a car channel? I mean I already had the car, the channel before this car, 
Like, why not? So, yeah, start your car channel with it for sure. Make you some extra money. You can also, I don't, it depends on what you want to do. You can rent out the car. You know, people like for proms and stuff. Like, I know, I don't know, this is kind of off topic of daily driving, but I guess this is just pros and cons of the car, I guess. I don't know. But you can you can rent out the car. Things you can do with the car, I guess. I'm giving you extra stuff to do. But anyways, but yeah, so you can rent out the car, bro. Like, you know, people, kids want to go to prom if you want to. Rappers might be in your city, musicians or whatever. Like, you can get it posted up somewhere. Like, if it look good enough, you can get it in a video, pay them for that, pay somebody for prom, you know, any little thing. You can make money off this car. That's what I'm saying. It's a money-making car. For sure. People love charges and challenges right now. So make as much money you can out this car. Do that for sure. Um, let's see. Any other pros? Uh, I, I don't know. I like. I just love. I love this car so much. It's like so. It's so hard to. Um, it's so hard to uh, think about all the pros because there's so many. Um, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I love this car. I really do. Like, y'all don't understand how much I love this car, bro. Like, if it came down to it, I wouldn't even really say it was too much wrong with the car for real. I really love it. Like, you know, but whatever. Uh, if I come up with some more pros, I'll tell y'all later in the video. But let's get to the cons. All right. Cons of daily driving a scat pack. The motherfucking gas. <laughs> Not go cap. That shit's gonna kill you. If you cause if you like me, um I usually when my tank is fitting to get low or about to get low, I go ahead and fill it all the way up. And in this car where I'm at, thank God premium is kinda low because obviously as you know you have to put premium in these cars, so I'm paying for the best gas. As you know, premium is the most expensive or whatever besides these or whatever but where I'm at now is kind of cheap on the low end I think the last time I filled up premium was like 340 something but other places almost four dollars past that y'all already know Cali crazy but anyway yeah gas cuz you definitely gonna have to fill this thing up I probably depending on how I drive y'all know I do other videos on here so I waste some gas on the videos and stuff so generally like if I'm driving like a normal day and I drive this car to work I did I was planning on just to drive this car for like content and stuff but I, I saw like I might as well make it my personal right my daily so that's what I did I was gonna drive my other car daily and then this just around the city but anyways so yeah if you like me you're filling up at least once a week and that's a cool 50 ball at least like I don't let mine go all the way down so it's around 50 but it's probably really around like like 55 58 almost 60 really if I really fill it up all the way so yeah gas for sure um second con these seats are not the most comfortable I'm not gonna lie it's really not second this next thing they're really not comfortable at all really like I love these seats they cool and all but like I don't know something about them. They not like the most comfortable. I guess they could be like designed a little bit better, but you're in a fast car. Like, I guess it's for your protect protection or something to give you these type. I don't know. I really don't know. I need to look in the backstory of why they got these type seats in here, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Why well, I said seats. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, seats. That's another con. Back to my first point. When I told you, you get a lot of eyes. A lot of comp like a lot of eyes on you that's for sure but it's also a con y'all know these cars are like the most stolen cars in America right now like and they're also like a police I don't know they in love with these cars right now just looking at them trying to find any reason to pull you over so them two things I mean those two reasons like you gonna have eyes on you good and bad like you just gotta be safe like know where you at know what you're doing try to get all the stuff that you need to prevent your car from being stolen and do all the right things on the road so you don't get pulled over or even look like you're suspicious on the road you feel me like obviously 
y'all know I make content, but I'm safe. I'm doing the areas that are, you know, there's nobody around. I'm looking around, make sure it's safe. You feel me? And I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. So, yeah. So, you're going to have eyes on you, good and bad. Just know that. Um, The price on these cars, bro. Like, the well, not the price, but repairs on these cars. Bro, if anything gets messed up on these cars, just know you're going to pay some bread to get it fixed, bro. No cap. So, if you not... I mean, if you don't got a little bit of bread or know you got bread coming in, bro, I wouldn't even fool with one of these, really. Like, like say if you need, um, like, we daily driving, right? So you get a tire. Like, me, personally, I get used tires right now because I want to get me a whole set of new wheels one of these days, a brand new set of fours. So I just get uh, used ones just to test out, like, the sizes and stuff to see what I'm going to get, like, when I get my all my wheels or whatever. But, like... I, for new set wheels, like depends on where you go. Like you could be spending like thousand plus on just the tires, and like that's crazy. You feel me? Like, but let's go into something else. Like front bumper getting messed up. Like, oh, we're well, not even that. Let's do some basic stuff. So, um, uh, so a headlight go out, right? Like, I don't know. Like, you want to get a new headlight? Like the whole headlight piece, bro. Like a factory. The aftermarket, not the aftermarket factory, eight to a thousand dollars, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, anything for these cars right now, it don't matter if it's the rims, the hood, like, if you want to replace something, like, everything's going to be expensive. So, that's a part of it, too. Um, but that's like if you want to, like, change up your car and stuff. But basically, like, you know, use tires. Like, well, let's not say, like, with the tire situation, it's not, especially if they're used, it's not really the price. It's more about the size and like they're not as common. The ones I run are 275s, and where I'm from, there's not a common like size tire, like that tire. And I want to try to do some like 305s or something for my back. And them tires are like literally not common around my area, so I would literally have to buy new tires just for that. So yeah, so but just anything expensive on this car, just know. Anything breaks or anything, it's gonna be yeah, some bread. Obviously, oil change, y'all know that's gonna be some bread. Like you have to get the best oil you can. So I think my oil change is like then like 120 to do an oil change or something like that. It's like one, it's over it's over 100 or whatever. So that's why I got that's what mine is for the oil change. So yeah, um, let's see. What else? Cons on the car. Like I said, I love this car so much. It's really not much. I feel like for a daily drive, a con. I don't know. I, I love this car so much. I can't really. Well, I say gas. I guess maintenance on it because you got to keep it up. Oh yeah, yeah. So cons like you know you wanna you wanna keep a you want a nice car right. You always want the car up to par, look good. You gonna have to get a car wash, unless you got a membership somewhere. Then you might be smooth. But even that, the membership probably gonna be anywhere from $50, 30 to fifty dollars for the month, whatever. Or if you go every day, you gonna spend like thirty dollars a day. Or you want to get a detail or anything. So <laughs> keeping up the car, like the cleanliness of the car, like you are gonna be going to the car wash a lot, especially if you want to look good every day, every single day. Yeah, you are gonna be spending some bread. So. Just know either you're going to have a membership at a car wash or you're going to be going to the car wash every day. Unless you clean the car yourself, then that's the thing too. Especially, so you can do that also. Um, let's see, another con, another con. I wish, well, no, just for a daily con. Uh, I don't know, it's, I love this car so much. What's a con? I don't know, y'all. Like, when I tell y'all I love this car, I love this car, bro. Um... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Con, con, con. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's a con. See, gas. I say gas. Like cleaning this of the car, maintenance. Uh, well, I guess. I guess another thing is. Nah, that's not one. I guess. I don't know. I feel like. Like it comes down to 
you know, what you can afford on the car. Like, if you know you're struggling right now, it's like, there's no reason for you to have this car. Like, especially if you got to make payments on that stuff, like, it's hard. Like, not going to be able to do it. So, it's hard because, like, you got to keep up the car, like, like gas every every week and you gotta do your payments and everything else if that's what you do or unless you got it paid off or whatever you don't gotta worry about that but yeah i don't know um what's more cons like i really can't think because i love this car so much and like besides gas and these little seats being a little little hard or whatever like it really ain't nothing too crazy wrong with this car like i love like being the fastest on the road i love um having eyes on me Anywhere I go getting compliments, like, that's that's fire to me. Like, you feel me? So, I mean, is it worth, like, getting a scat pack and letting it be your daily drive? I mean, I'll say yes. Honestly, like, but it's really just your preference. Like, if you would rather go for a car that gets, I don't know, like, 30 miles a gallon, like, go do that. Like, Ain't nothing wrong with that, but you know me, like I've never had no sports car before, so I always wanted one. So got a chance, and yeah, it's gonna be my daily. Like I decided to be my daily. Yeah, I might be spending two, three hundred dollars on gas a month, whatever. Like it's okay. Like it comes with it. Like I knew that's what came with. It, so it's whatever. I'm not mad about it. So it is what it is. But anyways, like pros and cons. For my answer, I say yes, it's worth it. Um, I don't really think. I I don't know. Siri was about to start talking. I don't know. I don't know why uh, Chargers really get a bad rep for um, you know, being a daily like. It just could. Oh no, my phone, my phone ring is going on. But anyways, but uh, hold on. But yeah, like I was saying, I like I really can't think of too much wrong with this car. Like, oh no, scat fat. <laughs> like I really don't. Um, I'm really more like blessed of anything. Yeah, I'm really blessed to be able to be in one of these cars. Like, it's a blessing, bro. Like, like I said, a lot of people don't get into these type of cars, so or be able to be in one of these cars. So, like, for me, like, another pro really is making people's dreams come true. Like, just seeing it, like, like they close, like people close to me, like they see my car. Like, I had a couple people that work with me, and they had got into the car, right? And, and I like drove them around or whatever, and they was like, "Damn, but it's like a dream come true. Like, I never thought I'd be in one of these before. Like, I drove them around. Like, that made my day, for real. Like, that like that meant something. Like, what I do, like, cause I got this car. I don't brag or boast. Like I told y'all, like I'm if I I'm not showing it off. Like I got it. Like I just want you to feel like you can get it too. So I said, bro, like that's why I did. That's why I did this channel. That's what I want to um want to bring to y'all bro like anything i do this car to the next car i want y'all to just believe y'all can get it man because it's possible like it's possible bro it's possible like literally this is my first car right here we in the car i'm gonna show y'all this is my first car like my first car i actually bought this is my maybach <laughs> I call this my bay back until I get a real one. That bit, it like it's like big in the inside type joint. You feel me? So I call that my bay, my Maybach until I get one. But it's like a four edge. Like and that was my car I was driving. Then y'all know I had my V6 and then I got this. But I started my channel with my V6 and I told y'all I was gonna get a, a scat pad. I was gonna go up the steps. I skipped over the RT stuff or the Hemi, the five seven went straight to the six four. You feel me? So. Like if I can do it, y'all can do it, man. I truly believe that. You just gotta have faith and believe and believe for real. Keep faith in God and believe, bro. Yeah, for me, I say it's worth it to have a scat a scat pack as a daily drive, bro. Like, there's no better feeling than having one of the fastest cars on the road. You're gonna look good. You're gonna look good while you out. 
and you're going to stand out on the road every time. So I don't see no problem, man. You feel me? So I don't know. What else y'all want me to say, man? What y'all thought I was going to say? I got a damn Mopar. Y'all thought I was going to tell you not to get one? No, sir. Like, y'all know what it is. Elevation and the motivation, man. If y'all want to go get y'all dreams, go get y'all this car, man, and go have fun with it, man. Don't worry about it, man. Take the risk. Go get y'all get the car that you want and have fun in it. Fuck with anybody thinks, bro. For real, man. But I hope this video helped y'all. Gave y'all a look. Couple and pros and cons of the car. Like I said, cool it's another one, man. It's your boy Tate, man. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey, we almost hit 500. 500 subs, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey, let's go. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. To the next one. Don't really mess up to catch them niggas back.